Hi guys, Donald from Golfbitter here to put the Mizuno JPX 850 and JPX 900 drivers to the test side by side on the range. Now before we cross over outside, let's quickly recap the tech. Now key to both of these drivers is the underside which features several weight slots or ports in what's called fast track design. These weights can be moved around to affect center of gravity and make the club more draw or fade biased. In the JPX 900, the heel and toe slots for draw and fade, well they're further apart and the central track is a little bit longer. The JPX 900 also features an aluminium protrusion deemed visual face angle technology and that's a sliding mechanism that sets the face open, neutral or closed when the club is put down behind the ball. But how do they perform side by side on the range? Let's head on over to the drift to test the Mizuno JPX 850 versus the JPX 900. Range time at the drift with the JPX 850 versus the JPX 900. I wasn't expecting there to be too much of a difference between the two. Now that I have them in my hand, there is. When you put them down side by side, you can see that the 850 is a more compact, bulbous, bigger face driver. The 900 has a bigger footprint. They both have beautiful finishes. The 850 is a glossy, the 900 is matte. But putting them to the test, and before I put them to the test, actually, what I was a little bit kind of anxious about beforehand was all this adjustability on the underside, would it affect the look uh, as hitting? and they just both look fantastic. Worries allayed. Time to put them to the test on the GC2. First of all, the 850. Looks lovely and compact behind the ball. Nice glossy finish. Mizuno alignment aid on there. Let's give it a whack. Identical balls, range balls, but identical. So we should get a pretty good comparison. That one is carry 228 with this range ball. Let's go to the 900. Not my best smash ever, but pretty average. You want to get a good average is the key. Oh, I really clicked that one. I expect that to be a little bit further. 242 with the 900, maybe a little bit better hit. But on average, not that much between them. A little bit more adjustability in the 900. I'm going to have a few more cracks here. Put the numbers together. We'll jump back to the studio and we'll summarize JPX 850 versus the 900. Now, I had a proper play around after that and things quickly averaged out and I made a few notes. Adjustability wise, there's only a hair between the JPX 850 and the JPX 900. And truth be told, that aluminium knobbly bit for visual face angle technology made no discernible difference. The JPX 900 sounds a little bit throatier in the hit and for me, maybe had a couple of yards of the JPX 850, but they were both impressively long. Given all the adjustability that's on the underside, I can't believe I'm saying this, but it boils down really to which one you fancy the most. Remember, both are 440cc drivers, but the JPX 900 has a bigger footprint and looks larger at the dress. They are both stunning looking drivers. So head on over to Golf Bitter and check out our stocks of the Mizuno JPX 850 and 900. Choose your favorite. Remember, we have plenty of choice. Surely there's something to suit you. As always, I hope this all helps to get you out there enjoying your golf. But for me for now, it's Donald out.